Good morning. It's May 24th on Tuesday. Today is going to be a fun day because we are going to spend the day kind of on a road trip. It's called the Road to Hana. And so we downloaded this app that um, plays Hawaiian music in between stops. It's almost like a hop on, hop off that we know I love. Um, but it's at your own pace, your own car. And it's just a um, several mile long winding road and it makes all these stops with these great picture opportunities. And I asked how to dress and they said, Any, anything can happen. So dress for hiking, dress for climbing, guess, dress for um, swimming or jumping off cliffs. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, it's gonna be a great day. Looking forward to it. Am I right? Is it starting now? So we got our starting. first. Be sure and bring a USB. Next, remember to turn off the tour switch whenever you make a stop. The tour plays automatically when you approach the circles in numerical order. Love that. You know, like 18, 19, 20, and, and so forth. Okay, so this is the first trail. We have three falls. Twin. It's called Twin Falls. I guess it's two falls. Maybe three? There are three, but it's called, called twin. twin Falls. Yeah. Maybe a baby fall. <laughs> um, Ten dollars a park. Gonna be worth it. If you're just walking through the trails, it is an easy walk. If you want to get down into the falls, it's pretty treacherous. Um, so some people may not be able to make it down into each fall. It's always fun and games until someone rolls an ankle. Sorry. Oh, what do we have? Woohoo! Are uh, people jumping off that thing? OMG! No, she's not. She's not gonna jump. Wow. Okay, so one thing that we should mention is you need to have shoes. Good shoes. Either because Shaka kind of shoes. Yeah, I've got some little of these. Or water those, shoes. Yeah. But it's very rocky. Right, because if you look in here, like you, I mean, to get into the, to get into there, you're walking on that. So I don't have any desire to walk onto that. No, not in bare feet. No, not in bare feet, and not even in shoes, because I, I just see a roll, I just see a rolled oh, ankle. ankle. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, common phrases as you get into your 40s. Things you say. Rolled yeah, ankle. Rolled ankle. Yeah. For yeah. the end of the day and maybe in the trip. Yeah, that could totally ruin the trip. So, really pretty. Oh, my cutie. Like a little parent. Like a little parent. <laughs> Okay, so Jeff has, there's three falls here at this park, but this is called Twin Falls. So here, with my finger, here is one fall. When it's full of water, this is another fall. So right now it's not really Twin Falls, but it's still called Twin Falls. And summer is full season, it's winter that time. So it's right, ironic, yeah. December, January, February, then it's rushing water. Interesting. But it rains more too then, it's a little chilly. How's the water feel? Not bad. Megan says cold. <laughs> Let's push him in and see what he says then. Yeah, what do you right? say? In the, uh -huh. in the deep. Push him in the deep. Also, our thing said you should never swim under waterfalls because sometimes the falls can push a boulder over the fall and hit you on the head. Worse than a twisted ankle. Okay, so this is looking down on the next trail where we just were. We were just down there. 
And I think the woman wasn't trying to jump. She was just sitting on the rocks, maybe enjoying the view. The trails are really pretty. Easy to walk. Now walking down there was a little rocky, but the actual trail like this is fine. Anybody can walk this. The trail to get to where we were, that first waterfall was a little bit steep and probably everybody couldn't walk it. Pool number, no, fall number two. The guy just jumped in, I got video of that. Jeff is also getting ready to jump in. Okay. Well, the little kid's jumping in. The day is young. There'll be, some, there'll be some jumping before the day's over. And there's an eight year old in there. There's an eight year old, so. I don't know. Eight year olds are spry. Yeah, eight year olds, don't, don't knock on the eight year olds, right? Because they can do things. Don't, don't roll an ankle. Don't, don't roll an ankle, kitty. I don't care. <laughs> she hasn't seen this at all. No, she's plugging, look at her. All right, little nugget, okay? Let me see you do it, girl. Matching shoes. I see these, these, these people are prepared. They got their shoes ready to roll. That's right. All right, so little girl. Needs to get over it first, so we got this. Yeah, babe. Whoop, whoop. Perfect. Ten out of ten, girl. Okay, so fall number three. It doesn't. Say, oh, it does say wild pigs. Oh my lord. <laughs> so the third fall takes thirty minutes. Um, there's wild pigs, mosquitoes, rock slides. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. So, two, two. Maybe that's why they call it Twin Falls. So I'm typically not a big fan of heights or like the edges of rocks, but he's, he's a boss, man. He's a boss baby. He's a boss baby. We should push him. This oh, guy's go. I don't think he's jumping. This kid's not jumping. You can take a video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do it, buddy. It doesn't look that far from right here. I know it is. I know it is. But it's not a bad one. I would do it. It's not a bad one. But it's very... It's, it's just a lot. <laughs> Hi, honey. It's not a... But, I mean, it's just wrong. I mean, oh. Three options. All right. More than 200. More than 400. Or more than 600 it is curves. more than 600. I think it's 617. What's your guess? Yeah. 617, I think, is the number. Well, if you guessed more than 600 curves, you're pretty darn close. 56 in fact, bridges. there's exactly 620 curves in the road today. So this is a rainbow eucalyptus tree. You can see why they call it that. That's the money shot, baby. Is a lookout point we stopped at there's lots of places to stop so far plenty of bathrooms to stop at and plenty of waterfalls but this is when we decided to stop at because it's just so pretty want to take a selfie <laughs> okay Heck yeah, we did, buddy. This is the best roadside stand. That was other people Where are stopping at the road. Where you guys stay on the island? In uh, Kanapali. Oh wow, okay, that's a cruise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah. Are you guys driving all the way around, or are you gonna turn back? I don't know. We think we well, might try all the way around. We've never done the around. We've always turned around and gone back. So. Oh, I got you. Well, yeah, you know what, man? If you've got time, but we have a four I suggest drive. go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the road just opened about a week ago, so you're you're good on that. Why was and, it closed? Uh, we had a big storm, maybe. Oh, really? Well, for Hawaii, big storm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it rained torrentially up, 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 up yeah, the mountain yeah. and just tore tore the road apart. Actually. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Is it good drive or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much faster than going back. Well, oh, no. I, I don't know mm. no, about okay. much faster, but it's okay. more 
it's more just the idea that you're yeah. you're on the journey and you might as well see it. I agree. Because yeah, you kind of it's, 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 especially once you start getting up onto the hillside. Uh, Ulu Palakua, God's country, you look down under yeah. the apron of South Maui and the islands, it's stunning. But not, not a lot of people make it the other way around, like a lot of people turn around? Well, I, no. I, I couldn't give you a percentage, yeah. but by all really means, people do it. Okay, so this almost, looks, oh, sorry. this almost looks like a rose, doesn't it? That is beautiful. I don't even know, I guess it's a flower, I'm, I'm guessing. It is a flower. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. And then this is the Birds of Paradise, right? Is this the Birds of Paradise? No, the Birds well, of Paradise. I thought is it the was, but it's head. not because it's That's a single. Not. Mm -hmm. It looks similar, though. Uh, it does look similar. This is the Bird of Paradise. You can see why you would call it that. It looks like a little bird. Caca, caca. Really, really, really pretty. So other fruit, and then we're gonna have that chocolate. That coconut was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mangoes. Yeah, that's awesome. Love it. What a great stop. Thank you for stopping, Jeff. Great. Yeah. great. Well, uh, anytime. So this is some chocolate with macadamia nut that we bought. It's from the East Maui chocolate. But they make, they make the chocolate, they grow the chocolate, they roast the chocolate, they do all the chocolate making, and they sell it on the road stand. So we decided. Local avocados. Mm -hmm. um, they are actually the local avocados. And our flowers. That and then at the last stop, the guy was so nice. He gave pink Megan lady. and I both and pink lady. lady. What's that called? Ginger plant. It's a ginger plant. They look, they're very beautiful. I'm assuming they're not edible, but I don't have a no, uh, no idea. But they're beautiful. We're going to use them for decorations. decorations. And um, we're right here. Like, look at our view. Like, we're right here. And we're in Hana now. Right? Yes. Hana Bay. Hana Bay. Hana Bay. Bay. And that is black sand. And that's a black sand beach. And yet another, like, porto potty stop. There's lots of... There's plenty of stops along the way, which yeah. I was happy about. Yeah. Plenty of roadside stands and plenty that's of... That's new, though, in the last seven years since we've been here, there was nothing. Like yeah, so that's nice that, that we had plenty... Of, and there would have been plenty of bathroom stops and yeah. stuff, so... Yeah. Um, good to know. And I really recommend doing this app. What's it called? Yeah, it was called the Shaka Guide. Shaka Guide. We'll put that down here. And it's the Road to Hana. And you do the Road to Hana Classic, not the reverse. Because we started in... Hiya, and we'll continue all the way around. Oh, we're going to do a loop. We're going to do the, you can turn turn around here and go back, I guess. Or you can just keep going, and it gets right and going. it gets crazier from here, Am right? I right? <laughs> okay, so there is a state park that's on the way to Hana. Yes. Oh, and good. To, this is good information. Right, good. Pay attention here. Yeah, pay attention. So there's a state park that has, like, the Black Sand Beach, right? Yes. And is it called the Hana State Park? No, it's... Wapanea State Park. And it has like this black beach that everybody loves to go to. The it's problem the is black beach. the black beach with yes. the black sand. But you yes. have to make reservations like seven days and ahead. At least. And I would tell you like, a lot, I'm not sure about this state park. A lot of the state parks you can do it 60 days in advance. That's right. This one I think was seven though. So just plan ahead because you can just drive through there. And a lot of people want to camp and you can't. They don't even take day the same day reservation. Like you can't walk that's right. Up. You can't. So no. we missed it. However, here in the town square of Hana is a black sand beach. Yeah. Don't need a reservation. Don't need a reservation, and you can Pick still your punches, right your lunch. where we had our lunch. It was perfect. There's a food truck if you don't want to pack a picnic. Yeah, there was. So you do have a little food options. I was really happy about that. I'm gonna turn around and let you see closer the black sand beach. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell. But the sand is black. Like, yeah, thank you, Megan. So, yeah, so it's it's actually black sand. And they do Very say... soft. Really soft. And they say it... I guess it comes from the volcano. Yeah. The rock right here. So there's some volcanic rock right there. And supposedly it gets very, very hot, but it's not hot here, so... Warm. Definitely warm. I'm about to take my shoes off and see. But, yeah, and this is a really great stop. I would definitely stop here, especially if you can't make it to the safe heart. If you want to see black sand, it's your goal. This, you don't have to make a reservation. You don't have to worry about it. Come have a lunch and see some black Have sand. a lunch and see the sand. Yep. So I looked a little closer at the rock and I saw the troublemakers. Boys will always be Is boys. there a sign that says don't walk on these walks? You would probably. But I would bet there's a sign. <laughs> Here's your sign. Now this is interesting. So here's the black sand. 
But then look how red the clay is on the mountain. So many yeah, I will say this ride, I wasn't prepared for how beautiful this ride was. Very like, oh my gosh, man, it's just turn after turn of just beautiful, beautiful things. I was saying, I really know now why they filmed Jurassic Park on these islands. Because it feels oh, like Jurassic Oh, Park. yeah, the whole ride driving through there felt like a scene from Jurassic Absolutely. Park. With the cliffs and the... And I don't really know, I guess clearly there was a lot of cars on the roads today, so, and they're very, very sm small, yeah, they're like one road bridges and stuff well, so you have, to yield, you have to stop wait for someone to come then you take your turn well and i definitely i would definitely do the app that we'll put down and yeah, i definitely would do that if you were here long enough it's just a great day to get away from the hot i'm mean, like the sun if you've got too much sun on your skin or you just want to do something different this is a nice day it's a, and and if you do everything they say to do it they say it takes like 12 hours it's not taking us that probably how long um we started at on the road probably around 10 30 10 20 and now it's three and we're halfway there oh yeah more than and that. going back i doubt we'll stop that much but yeah yeah we're like five hours in yeah so it's a it's a day trip we'll be done in the next four or five or so about 10 hours and then we're hoping to go to the sunset today right or no hopefully yeah. i think oh, we scratched that because we're going around the other way and that was the other thing is we're trying to see the sunset at some point and where's that at Haleakala. Haleakala. another thing is 60 days in advance you got to get your if you want to see the sun rise in Haleakala. pretty much if it's a state park and you're coming you need a pass and you're looking 60 days in the because it's it was booked. Pearl Harbor was booked i got it but it was pearl harbor you needed one for the wana the black sand beach one you need one for the uh, Haleakala you needed one for. Right, and I tried to book it and it was 60 days in advance. They'd release them and then there's their yeah. book, they're sold out or, you know, bought. They say you can do it like two or three days before. They're gone by then. They're not a chance, then. not they're a chance. Gone. And the thing is, it's only like a dollar to get into yeah. that park. Yeah. So for it's not car. expensive per car. Per car yeah. yeah, but it's just a matter of traffic control. So if you are, I mean, planning ahead is key a lot of these state parks if you are uh, more than 60 days out start booking yeah start be ready because it's when you're going to want to do it for sure but even though you can't see the sunset the sunrise right. at that park there's no ticket needed for the sunset which they say is just as pretty as the sunrise That's right. so we were going to try to head up there and see the sun set today but i think because we're going to drive straight through back to town instead of going turning around and going back down the Hana trail or whatever it's called um, we're going to be in the wrong spot. But we could do that maybe tomorrow. Sure. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, so another little piece of advice when you're traveling in Hawaii, especially about Havana. Lots of porta potties, very convenient. Bring a roll of toilet paper and hand sanitizer. Lots of hand sanitizer. Nice facilities, but again... Yeah. And then these even do have little sinks, but most of them don't. Most of them don't, again, soap. But then water, no paper towels. But no paper towels. So just yeah. bring maybe a roll of paper towels and some toilet tissue. And a little wet wipe, maybe. And I've got those things, but still toilet tissue. I didn't think of that. So yep, toilet so tissue, paper towels, you will be golden. You could do this all day long. Okay, so I think this is the best waterfall I've seen all day. That's beautiful. So we're gonna go down there, I guess, and do some swimming. Okay. We're going there. Oh, there, there, there. We're going there. I think Jeff would stay there all day if you would let him. Here she comes. There's my girl. That's freaking awesome. What a great stop. All right, so we just got done jumping in. I got it right here too, it's fine. So we just got in, we jumped in, it was wonderful. I've decided I want to buy a GoPro for moments like this where I can't bring my phone in because it was beautiful. If you were right underneath that, swimming in the bottom there. Oh, feeling that come down on the water and the wind. Oh, amazing. The water was nice and brisk and chilly. 
Um, a little treacherous, like getting down there with all the rocks and stuff. But um, it was doable. And um, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to work on getting a GoPro because that was amazing. I wish I could have brought you along with me. Okay. So I, sponsor so, by sponsor by not by anyone ever. So I want to show all of our different shoes that we use to get in the water today. So Megan and Juan, well that's Megan. And there's one. Juan, you got yours at what? Tommy Bahama? Yeah. And Jeff, oh, you got nice. yours at Academy. Right. And Megan? Yep. Academy. Academy. And then I did like more of a sandal. Hey. But it has the oh, nice okay. um, traction. Yeah. And, and like we wore these yeah. into there because it's full of, um, uh, it's full uh, of, uh, um, uh, rocks uh, at the bottom. So yeah. shoes, yeah. shoes, shoes. You gotta have shoes. So we have arrived at the Haleakala National Park. It is the location of the seven sacred pools. You cannot swim in the pools currently, but you can hike down and look at them. And tell them the good news about the military ID. And then if you are military um, previous and show your military ID, make sure you have that military ID, not just your license. It is free entrance to any national park in the United States. So it would have cost us 30 bucks to park if we're yeah. not military, yes. but because Jeff and Wamba served, thank yes. you guys, Yes. Um, then we were able to get it for free. But make sure you have your ID, ID some because sort. if you don't, then you can't. Yeah, but 30 bucks from here or any other national park. Any so national park, yeah. We'll pull up. yeah. Oh, Megan. Yes. How did you enjoy the seven sacred pools? Well, I never saw them. <laughs> well, why, didn't, why didn't you see them? Because we hiked to the wrong path okay. up to a very lackluster waterfall. There is a lot of paths involved. A lot of paths. Choose yeah. the right one. Yeah. Go down, not up. And you know, for me, like they always, it always sounds like a good idea, right? Yes. Here. So it always sounds like a good idea. Right. Let's go on a trail i say almost everywhere i go rarely do i make it to the top path less taken <laughs> and i'm usually always sorry i tried yeah why do i keep trying and then there are a bunch of people deciding they wanted to run a 4k well they the were path. actually much right past us they were in much in shape and they did a good job go there around us beep beep don't be <laughs> Yes! She could feel the breath I on. I can feel the breath on the back of my neck, you freak. <laughs> Move that, around. So, Move around. So if Move you around. choose if you choose to take this ride or this trail, good luck to you, my friend. Wear sneakers. Go down, not up. Wow, that is so gorgeous. This road is worth looking at too. It's so one lane. <laughs> So instead of turning around and going back down the road from Hana, we just kept going straight, which is an option. But it's which a we've never done. We've we're they've never done. They Jeff and Megan have done this a few times before, um, but they've always gone back down the mountain the other way. And so this is the path less traveled. I'm going to show you this little pretty much a one-way one-way road the whole time, and it's bumpy. Um, so it's going to be quite the endeavor. I don't think you would want to do this though, unless you're a really good driver maybe. And if you have a good truck or Jeep or something, four wheel drive. So this whole ride has felt like we were in in a Jurassic Park ride at Disney. Don't you think? Absolutely. Like I feel like we're in the ride. Disney has nothing on this. Like like a T-Rex or a raptor is gonna jump out of the And get the us. Minute. Also, maybe, maybe a little bit um safar the safari at Disney. Yeah, crazy. Anybody want a cliff jump? Jeff? Yes. I would cliff dive, but not jump on rocks. Oh, yeah, that's a smart, that's smart. <laughs> what you guys doing? What are you guys up to, huh? Hey, moo cow, moo. Hey. Say hi to my viewers. That's all. Hi. Don't roll an ankle. 
Am I right?